F50s, Adidas, again, knocking out of the park. When I was looking at these boots, actually, and I was thinking about the, the boots that I actually like, mm. they're all Adidas. And I, I thought Nike did a couple of nice boots. Well, but they did. They, they did a few, like a very yeah, we'll get select few. We'll get to those. Yeah. But Adidas have been knocking it out of the park when it comes to football boots. And in 2004, they come out, just before the Euros come out with the F50s. Mm. Um, very simplistic design. Black with a yellow, I don't know, what do you call it? Yellow triangle like a v, at a V-shape at the back goes around both sides. There was no football boots around at the time that looked like this. And actually, subsequently, there hasn't been any that looked like the original F50s released, just, as you say, just prior to your 2004. So the first two versions of those, 2004 and 2005, F50 and F50 Plus, otherwise known as the Spiderweb F50s, were amazing. You have a picture of them in there in front of you. Um, I got a pair of the original F50s, and in the first two episodes of this segment that we've been doing, I've mentioned them twice already, that finally the F50s have their own show, because one of you know, the biggest regrets of my life not buying. Not buying the Predator Mania white, and instead buying the white and blue trimmed version of the original F50s, as inspired by Santiago Canazaro. Canazares, the Valencia goalkeeper in the UEFA Cup final in 2004. It's not too often you buy a pair of football bits based on the goalkeeper that's wearing. I know, but I mean, what he was a stylish man, like he's bleached hair when bleached yeah, hair was cool. And he was Canazares, great goalkeeper. That was goalkeeper. a bad period for everyone, though. Who? What do you mean? With hair wise? When, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was like, I, I remember being, I would have been very young at that stage, but a lot of my friends got the, the white tips and also the bleach white, throughout like, as well. Bleach, the bleach tips came a little bit later on, but around the 2004 you see guys getting the entire hair just completely white. I was originally inspired by Eminem. So you got it? I had full bleach, yeah. Do you have a, do you have a photo of that? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, I do. I, I'm wearing an Inter Milan jersey of the time as well, <laughs> about 2001, 2002. I'm inspired. By, are you looking now to imagine what that looked like? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm what, kind of, what, way, what way did you wear your hair? It was, sh it was like shaved head because I was Eminem. <laughs> so I had it like that. <laughs> Do you know, in my, com in my, com in my comfortable upbringing, like, I was, like, I, I was really related any, to Eminem. Any Team 33 listeners or viewers, I will have that picture <laughs> in the next you'll, you'll find it, like, it's online somewhere. John, it's not looking for John it now. He just Fox jumped out of his chair there already into another looking computer. For this he won't find it. We might, we might have it by the end of the episode, but we'll definitely find it by the end of the week. Anyway, back to the football bits. Uh -huh. Gorgeous pair of football bits. Amazing. But also very simplistic. And that's the beauty of it, is there's a saying about that. And the, they were, I think, were one of the first boots that... Uh, fully hid the laces as well. So the laces were actually, in the original F50s, the laces were under the tongue. There wasn't really a tongue, it was like the upper part, the kangaroo leather part, it was under that. And the laces were actually attached to the back of the kangaroo leather. So the only difference between, no real difference uh, in a structural way between the F50s and the F50s Plus, they were a year apart, was that the laces in the F50 Plus, the spider ones, they were actually standard laces that you tied together. They were just hidden. But for the first F50s, they were attached to the tongue. They're the, one, they're the ones I had. That is an underappreciated thing. Yeah, very. They started hiding the laces. Because oh, yeah, Especially completely. in Ireland when it rains a lot. The biggest issue is the laces are always very long and they never stay tied. Yeah, and you had to tuck them mucky. in. Like I don't have with shoes now, but the, the, I think the marketing um, selling point was that oh, by hiding the laces, there's basically more leather on the ball. So you have a better strike of the ball. But I think it was just their way of being innovative and saying, oh, we're just going to hide something and hide the laces. But I, it, it was, they were so futuristic looking at the time when they were released in 2004. And I was playing schools football at the time. And I'd say every other player on the pitch had the original F50s, be that in the black, the original black color with the yellow trim are the ones that I had were kind of, to a lesser extent, the white ones with the gray sides and in the blue trim. But, like I said in the previous two episodes I mentioned briefly, I don't know if you had a pair of these, the originals, they were an absolute nightmare to maintain, cleanliness-wise, because they got so, they, the mesh on the side got so dirty so quickly, very difficult to clean. I think they were actually one of my first ever football bits. What colour did but you I get? Don't, I think they were the black and yellow ones, it, it, yeah. but I'm talking so young that it wouldn't have been me who selected That's these. That's right, and, yeah. Uh, I actually know, uh, there's, a, there's a photo of me on my Instagram, yeah. <laughs> you I phone think here. I might be. It's good for podcast you know listeners. What? For, for podcast listeners, this is terrible radio. For your uh, people watching on YouTube, this is a terrible video. But I'm actually going to look on my Instagram right now to see if I'm wearing a pair of F50s and that because it would have been my first proper pair of boots. Um, How many photos do you have? Oh, yeah, you have a fair few. Not, not too many. Like I, that's, good. Uh, that's five finger scrolls. That's a lot. 
No, I think you know what? I think they're a pair of Umbro. They're Oct. just they're just Umbro. Umbro. Just playing black ones as under under fives or under sixes or something. Yeah, you couldn't be getting a pair of F fifties as a five or six year old because they were like proper boots. You'd be spending upwards. They were like about one hundred and fifty, I'd say, at the time. Okay, see, you're yeah, you're a proper buying the actual real versions of these. So actually, that's a, yeah. an interesting thing. We'll, we'll come to that a little bit later yeah. on. Uh, because it's probably the F50 Spiders is where that starts to come into play, is people can no longer afford uh, to buy the real, proper oh, yeah. leather versions of these boots. But before they get to the F50 Spiders, they bring out the F50 Tunits. I, I did have a pair of these, and it, you see Adidas trying to be a little bit innovative with the fact that you can take the sole off these, you can put whatever sole suits the ground that you're playing on, and they give you three versions of studs, blades, and hard ground studs as well, so that in, re in theory, you can change it to whatever kind of ground you're playing on, but yeah. in reality, it just completely ruins the structure of the boot. It was a nightmare, because the sole at the, um, on the floor of them, they, it was so stiff that it was likely to snap if you got a bad tackle, and then, the changing of the studs, like whether it was hard ground or firm ground or soft, when they were the three options you got, like it was just hassle, like changing them all. And then by the time you get them all out and try to get them back in, like sometimes they get stuck, or the opposite effect is they wouldn't, they just fall off during a match. It's a nightmare. The idea was great because it was basically you could customize your own boots to a degree, and that would never been attempted before. And in new versions of boots, they have different types of studs throughout the one boot. So it was a good idea in theory, but the execution was awful because yeah. it was it just it was hassle. And I don't think people want that level of choice either. I think people just want to buy a pair of boots that will suit a surface. And again, like the idea was great because especially in Irish and British football, um, the weather is terrible half the time. So you do need to change the studs you're wearing or else you're going to slip. But you, but you might get the odd summer where the ground's rock hard. Yeah, and then you're going to destroy your feet if you wear the improper studs. Yeah. So it was a great idea, but the execute it was just awful. I never I never got a pair of the tune. It's my F fifty purchasing days started and ended in the first versions. But I was I was full of like players uh fur and against that used to wear the tunits. I hated the look of the tunits. I thought they're really ugly boots. Like properly yeah. Almost Properly impressively so. ugly boots, especially the blue and yellow ones. Mm. It's like blue and a luminous yellow stripes coming through it. I always thought they were far too wide. The, the front was insane. It was in, they were insanely insane. wide, and you could never wrap your foot properly around the ball yeah. because the tongue was far too wide. So as practicality goes and looks goes, this is probably one of the worst boots that have come out in recent history. Yeah, and I felt like, as I say, I never uh, owned a pair of the tunits, but I would play with players that did, and it always felt to me that you were... Never really, like you wouldn't be able to control the ball as well or something. Now that's the placebo that we were talking about last week with the manias. But if it was a wet um, surface in a, in a rainy game. Just skin off it. Skin off it. Because it was yeah. made of really cheap plastic. Or yeah, really so if the ball's plastic. coming from the air, you're trying to get a first touch. It's likely to go anywhere with that because there's no actual grip on the boot. So the boot was so much, mo so much about aesthetics and a kind of idea that never, as you say, uh, translates to practical playing. And it just, they didn't look great. So yeah, they, they, they like. Look, they looked terrible. They got better uh, into the last decade, but the end of the 2000s, the F50s looked atrocious. They got slightly better in the Leo Messi era. Yeah, they... When they essentially they changed the name. Essentially changed the name, yeah. yeah. So we're going to be t talking about bits that aren't necessarily F50s, but they are F50s because... They're, they continue the line. Yeah, yeah, it's the same as if the Predator moved on to something else just under a different name. The F50 Spiders. Mm -hmm. Now, these are my favourite F50s. A lot of people say that because, and I, I said this Don't to you. Agree with it. I said this to you uh, as well, and it, it, it probably I'm probably the only person in the world that thinks about this. But the design on them and the name is the same as a car that was in Fast and Furious at the time. Same color, same design, same spider uh, design on the outside of the car as well. And I thought it was deadly. So I automatically love these boots, but also I love these boots because I think they're I think they're class looking. First of all, the white the white and blue ones. Yeah, the white and blue ones were not, they were nice. I I'm actually thinking of the black and blue ones. Yeah, the black that our mutual boot ones. lover Dahi has. Do you know the one? No, the ones that were they were black on the um, tongue part, and then the as it went back towards the heel, it kind of turned into blue. It was like navy blue. Yeah, um, you know them, right? 
they were great. They were very short-lived in terms of people having them. They were the only kind of version of the Spider 50s that I actually liked. Um, the ones in front of you there, they look like Luis Garcia wearing them or something for Liverpool. They, those white ones with the black uh, webbed part, mm -hmm. I wasn't mad about them. And only because I, I just don't think they were like as different and innovative looking as the original F50s. For me, like not, nothing touched the original ones, not just because they're the original ones, I actually think they're the best looking ones. Yeah. But a no, lot of people disagree with me. They, I, they I, agree I, with you. They think I really the spider like, ones I, are the ones. I really like the spider ones. And I think Leo Why do you Messi, like the spider ones? Just like the design of them, a little bit different. I think Leo Messi wore a pair of them in his very when younger... He started, yeah. yeah he, so yeah. That, that definitely plays into it. And again, I owned a pair. So you always have a little bit of... Yeah. A soft spot for the bit you own. What kind of players wore F50s for well, you? They were. They you were, talked about the Predator and it's a centre midfielder. These are more of uh, wingers. They were the vapors of Adidas, really. They were the, the, they were a lightweight boot, and as they went down, the whole thing was the lightest boot ever. And so they were for ten, fast players, I suppose you'd say. I associate them with full backs. The funniest player to wear them for me was John O'Shea when he came on against Arsenal and scored that ship at Highbury. Was the they were the spider versions with the the white and red. Yeah. Um, but for me, it was a lot of German players wore them, like Lukas Podolski and Bastian Schweinsteiger uh, wore them at the start. Um, so it was kind of the technically gifted players from midfield and above again, when you're like comparing it with the Predator, but it was more of a kind of like, say, comparison to say Zinedine Zidane wearing the Predator, it would be like Damien Duff wearing the F50s. It would be a guy who's like world class, but in a different way completely. Yeah, and he take on his players. The mercurial style of players. Yeah, they they, they were uh, they were Adidas's answer to that, and then I, I think as they went on the iterations of the F fifties and they became the Adi zeros, they looked they were kind of much more similar to what I would see as vapors nowadays. They're very very similar. The only difference being the obvious Adidas and Nike logo. But yeah. at the start, F fifty was um, was it was a hybrid of nothing really. It was its own thing that looked nothing looked like it, and it was kind of crafty players wearing. I suppose these. The newer ones, the Adi Zeros, and we'll, we'll get to them now shortly, is essentially Adidas's answer to the lightweight side boots. The, yeah. The ones that the wingers wear so that they can have a bit of an advantage going forward on, based on the weight of their their boots somehow makes them faster. I don't think so. I think most people are fast because they're fast. Uh, 2009 F50i, and you're looking at a completely different boot to what the spiders were to what the tunits were and probably the yeah, closest, it's unrecognizable. The closest yeah. thing to what the Adi Zeros are. So they are a little bit more straight in their shape. The Adidas, uh, Adidas logo is more of an Adidas logo than just white stripes going through it. And yeah. they're, they're at the back and they have a little bit of a, a divot at the back as well for protection of people standing on the players' heels. Do you notice anything about them as well in terms of the F50 range? They were the last of the F50 range to do a certain something. Are you talking about the tongue that's covering over the... Laces, yeah. The, they were the, the last. That's it. It's not so much... Uh, and then, not even not so much then. It's interesting what Adidas have done here compared to the Predator with the fact that it's not so much a tongue that you pull over the laces. It's, it's actually... It's kind of just covering it over naturally. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they still want the idea of hiding the laces a bit. That was the boot... Um, that Lionel Messi wore in the 2009 Champions League final against Manchester United and when he scored his header from Xavi's cross his boot came off when he fell down and he celebrated with the boot by handing, um, putting it up into the sky so Adidas loved him for it and from that point on all the versions of the F50s as they went on into the 2010s into the late 2010s was uh, encapsulated by Messi wearing them so you have the Adi zeros after that Well Messi yeah. is the Adidas F50s Guy, mm. actually, something that we didn't talk about, talk about was uh, how Adidas brought in several versions of each boot for depending on your budget, because mm. they started it as far as I know with the F fifty Spiders, and they continued on with the Adi Zeros as well. <laughs> it's good, in, it's good in theory, but again, Adidas the the way that they actually go about it doesn't work for me because. They bring out the F50s, F30s, and F20s. So the F50s would be your 150 premium style boosts. Yeah. The F30s and F20s would be 80 euro to 60 euro, and it's for lower budgets. But try telling 
a 9, 10, 11 year old that you're getting the F30s instead of the F50s because yeah. you can't afford it. Yeah. It doesn't work. I think Messi even wore the F30s um, at one point because he didn't like the original design of the Adi Zeros, I think. And he was just so against how they looked, so he started with the F30s and eventually migrated to those. It was a good idea from Adidas again. It was again like, it was like the tunits, the original tunits, it was a good idea. Yeah, the execution was just the terrible. It was terrible because you couldn't market it to a kid being like, like, kids are perceptive that way, they're going to know fully well that you're trying to cheap them out of it. Yeah, like. and you, you think that the kids will not notice, oh. but the kids will absolutely you're notice. Them the if you're the Europa versions if, if of you're wearing boots. If you're wearing F30s, you're not wearing F50s, and you know that. Yeah. You're not stupid. You and kids know that. They're 20 less good than F50s. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrible execution. Great idea. And also, the F30s were, like, I, I would have bought a lot of the cheaper boots because I just couldn't afford uh, or, to spend 160, 170 euro on the real versions. But they degenerate quite a lot quicker. Like, mm. the, the real boots... Well, that's it. That's why you have so to... ...so much better in quality than the actual, the, the lesser versions. That's why you have to invest in real boots to get your value for it. Because, like, uh, if you cheaped out, you're only going to get... If you wear them once a week, you'll probably get a year and a half out of them. Mm -hmm. But the vast majority, of, like, of club players train twice a week and play a match at the weekends. The vast majority. So it's within your best interest to pay upwards of 100 for them to get the proper qualities. But like Predators used to do the same. There used to be 100 euro version of the Predators, Predator Manias even, that were like 50 quid cheaper than the real ones. And there was only slight um, superficial differences when you looked at them. But the quality was chalk and cheese. Yeah. And they, they would just rip apart out of nowhere. You're wasting your time ch uh, saving 50 quid when it comes to boots. See, I suppose the difference is when especially when you're buying for kids, is that they always want a newer version of a boot and they grow so fast that if you spend 180 euro on a pair of F50s and the next year their foot is too big to fit into it, uh, it's a bit of a problem. So you get, if you get the F, F20s or F30s, then it's a little bit less of a risk. Uh, but I also benefited from that happening to me and getting a lot of hand-me-downs from older cousins. So that's, I actually very rarely bought boots when I was younger. I just got their hand-me-down real ones. Except when you got a loan to buy a pair. Except for, except for that. But you have paid back. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't confirm. Uh, the shop no longer exists as well. So if they want to come after me for the debt, <laughs> they're uh, barking up the wrong tree. Uh, 2011 is when we see the first Adi Zero. Yeah. It's Adi Zero Prime. Very similar to the F50s the year before. Oh, sorry, 2010 is that. The first one, yeah. That, first added zero. Then 2011 is the added right. zero prime. And you're, compared to the F50 dot I, yeah. it's the exact same boot. Like, there's no difference. They just changed the name. Well, they, they are lighter. So the, uh, the, in 2010, the F50 added zero was 165 grams. And the prime that came out a year later was 145 grams, which claimed to be the lightest football boot ever made. And I guess that was a selling point for some people who didn't want heavy boots. When you compare them to the original Predators that we were talking about last week, I associate... That weighed a ton. That weighed a ton. The, the, I associate the Adi Zeros um, from 2010 and 2011 with all Barcelona players. Yeah. Just all of them. Like that's, if, you want, if you're thinking about what it is that we're talking about and you can't see it, just picture the great Barcelona side that won the Champions League at Wembley in 2011. The blue ones, the blue Blue, boots, yeah. Just matching in with their socks nicely. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. A little bit of yeah. green tinge going through it as well. Look, look, I didn't mind them, I think but I don't have any love nice for them. Just respected fine. them. They were made of uh, some of them had uh, Kevlar in them, so which is a yeah. really strong, light, durable material. So the technology in the Adi Zero was starting to build up, uh, and I suppose that's what we're not really giving them credit for. They, they like they're they're fine looking boots. Probably the best technology boots that technology could yeah. give you. It's an, it's an encapsulation of the modern day improvements in life in general that everything was improved as a, from a practical level than they were uh, in the 2000s. But they just there's not as uh, much romanticism or nostalgia with them because they look like every other boot. But they are very practical. Also, you got three different insoles with the F50s as they went on. You got your lightweight, comfort, and professional. I, again, don't really know what they did. They were just three different versions of insoles that you could wear. It, they kind of let you build your own boot up to a certain level. And then the Adi Zeros took it on to its own thing. Just wear these because Lionel Messi wears them.
Well, that's really that's why people yeah. wear them. They, they don't really. They and Gareth Bale as well at Real Madrid. Let, let's be honest. If you're buying a pair of football boots from Lifestyle Sports, you're not really getting the same technology as. They don't the, even the do, but they don't do real football boots, like. If, lifestyle. Well, you're not not just lifestyle. Any typical sports shop nowadays, if you walk in. I I don't know if I've noticed like I say a two hundred euro pair of boots. Oh, the only as much the anymore. only version the only like two hundred euro pair of boots I've say, seen in a sports shop recently was the when they brought out the Predator again. Yeah, because they know they can. It was two hundred and fifty euro. Yeah, but most people buy their boots online. Online, you see, yeah, that's it. Uh, so rolling through the years, I'm going to run through all the the next three very quickly because there's no noticeable <laughs> difference really. The F50 Adi Zero second generation, mm-hmm. uh, most people might remember them from uh, Lionel Messi taking his third Ballon d'Or, um, the white and gold ones. Yeah, they're nice, red studs. Yeah, Very they're, nice. they're fine. I, I, I don't like gold boots. Don't you? In general, don't like gold boots. What about gold preds? Nah, I, I think they look quite... Tacky, you're going to say. Not tacky, but the colour... It's not really gold, like if you, it is gold, but you know what I mean. It looks Real a bit gold. more like dirt than gold. Eventually, it just looks gold doesn't work on plastic. That's it's a, a rule of mine. Uh, then F fifty Adi Zero third generation, we're giving them no points to the name. Uh, they change it to yellow. Again, the design's very similar. We, we've seen a disappearance completely off them covering up the laces, which Yeah, the F50 is, is unrecognisable now. And they are, they're actually all called F50, technically, still. But it, they're absolutely unrecognisable to the originals from the mid-2000s. Uh, F50, Adi Zero, Samba. They were nice enough. They were cleaner. Blue and orange. Yeah. They were cleaner. Less going on with the others. The Adidas symbol is starting to make a creep forward from the back yeah. of the boot <laughs> into the front of the boot. So I don't know if, if that's... A design based on the style or a, a design based on they think that the front of the boot is going to see, be seen more on TV mm. because that's actually something that comes into play. Do, do you remember when they changed the uh, the shorts to put the Adidas and Nike signs at the back instead of the front? What was they realised you could see the back of the shorts on TV more often really? than the front of the shorts. In, in close-ups? Yeah. Oh. So they're, they're f- essentially filming players walking away a lot more than... Face on. Yeah, so if you think about it, when you're watching football, you're watching a team push on yeah. and your eye is wandering whatever way they're facing. So you're, they're, you're facing their back, facing their numbers. You're not facing their fronts. And how often do you actually get to see a frontal shot of a footballer carrying the ball? Very rare. Yeah. I know the story of Neymar when he was getting fouled in the 2018 World Cup and he was lining up his free kick that he would deliberately stay in the ground longer, tying his shoelaces so the camera would stay on him, and therefore his boots, and therefore they'd be advertised more. Marketing. The game's gone. The game's gone. Uh, FC Ali Zero, crazy light. Gareth Bale Gareth, wore these. Yeah. They're really, really ugly boots. Yeah, they're... Oh, my God. God, ugly boots. Like, they are... I, I don't even know how to describe them. Yellow with black running through them and the Adidas. This is your modern day football boot. It's there's just, too much going on the and therefore there's nothing going, going on. on. It's, I, I don't even want to talk about it. It's that ugly. They're just, you get them in a machine, those boots, for like two euro. They're just, they're like fake, fake nice boots that you'd get. In, you'd get a pair of Duns for like a tenner. <laughs> Do you know when, you, uh, when you're designing a boot online um, and you just, get bored and you start adding different colours and different designs. Like that. That's 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 like five to six on a Friday yeah, and your you man had to get out of the office. Uh, they go back to a bit more a bit more of a simplistic design with the F fifties, fourth generation, red versions this time. The Adidas they they take away the stripes on the boots and just have the logo, which is what we see more often now in the newer versions. I do like that. I actually do like yeah, it. I'd... As far as modern boots go, I don't mind it like the X when they become the X's from the F fifty you have a pair, don't you? I only found out I have a pair now. So they become the X's yeah. from the... They changed from Adi Zero to the Adidas X in 2015. And a couple of versions aren't that nice. They have like a, they have a silver version with the Adidas sign on the side. Uh, but my version is they're fully black. And they have the, a big Adidas logo on the insole or on the instep. I also like them. I think they're... Back to simplicity, they, they have the sock, but the sock's not too big. It's not coming up over your ankle. Yeah. They're just high enough so it's comfortable. 
and the lace is recovered. They're tidy. They're tidy looking. It's very like they're. Is it just less going on? It's it's the reason that I like the um, the sambas from 2014, the Adi Zero sambas, because there's less going on. They're more defined. That's what people have. To, people remember that stuff. They have something. It has to have a distinctive quality. That's why the original F50s stand out so much. They were distinctive. The Garrett Bale ones that you mentioned a second ago. They're just like any other boot. Like there's too much going on. They were distinctive for the wrong. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what I'm taking from this is that. There are, there's still no love for the F50. There is for the originals. In your life. In the, in the originals, yeah. But apart from But that, as I was saying to you before we started recording, when I was asking people at home about this, the same people I asked about the Adidas Predators, there was far less love. There was like, I liked the first ones, they just got ahead of themselves afterwards and it became like every other football boot. Is that almost like the players who wore them? No, it was Except for complete, Lionel Messi. It was completely down to the style of the... Because really? The, yeah, it is, yeah. I, I think, like, if Messi can't save them, who can save them? They're not a. They're not. They, they're not a vaunted boot. Like it's only one others. man, though. You see the predator. The, He's the, the man. Pre, the predator had Beckham. It had Zidane. Yeah, had, but it also had the look. Legendary players. It had the look. It had the look. Yeah, but that Adidas is a bit of a more of a show body. Yeah. About it. Mm. Um, where to next? Nike vapors. I think we have to do Nike because vapors have to do I, vapors. I, I give them a hard time. Do the vapors at the start of this yeah. podcast, and I. Uh, I think we'll do a couple of Nike boots at the at the one time because. Yeah. The vapors don't do it for, enough for me. Oh, they do. They have to have. Merit. They should have their own. Nah. Uh, the vapors are iconic. Va- we'll throw total in the nineties we'll, can be thrown in with the rest. We'll throw in the tempos and then no, 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 no. The total nineties no. redefined. Fate of differences here. Redefined Nike football boots forever. So we're total nineties are getting their own show. 